Welcome back to The Christian View. Today we're talking about grief and losing someone that you love. Hard topic. You know, in those hard times when you've lost and you hurt, do you feel like more people run to God or run from God? during those well, times of her. <laughs> yeah, it can go either way. Yeah. You know, I think yeah. that it has a tendency for some people to become angry with God, mm -hmm. and then sometimes it can serve as a catalyst to pull people closer to God. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, at the end, if we really look at it from the spiritual standpoint, we have to understand where Jesus said in Matthew, where he says, blessed are those that mourn, mm -hmm. um, for they shall be comforted. And I think that if we can point people to an area of not necessarily telling them how to do it, right. when it's going to happen, but giving them that hope to letting them know mm -hmm. that eventually it will get there. And I think one of the greatest things I try to give people is it is okay mm -hmm. to be upset. Mm -hmm. It is okay to work through the feelings. Mm -hmm. And I think when we're Christians and we have certain views on certain things, people yeah. look to us and we're not supposed to fall apart. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're not right. supposed That's to be right, emotional. Right. But I think... Mm -hmm. Is it okay to be angry with God? You know, I mean, is that okay? It's an emotion. Is that, I think God yes. can handle it. Yes. I think, I think, I think he can too. Too. And I think grief requires God and time. Yes. I think those are two components of grief that you've got yeah. to give. And and with God, we get that comfort. Um, but we may have moments where we're questioning the hardest, God. The hardest thing I have ever seen, the yeah. hardest thing I've ever watched or seen before my very eyes mm. is watching an unsaved person mm. grieve. I can't imagine. Mm. Yes. When there is no hope, That's good. they yes. do not have a hope yes. of mm. seeing them again. Yeah. That is the hardest thing I've yes. ever watched. Romans 15, 13 says, now may the God of of hope yes. fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And we all need hope. You can live without food uh, for only a short time. You can live without water mm -hmm. and air and all this for a short amount of time. But without hope, mm -hmm. your life yeah. is almost over. You know, and you think about too, even uh, yesterday, and there's so many tragedies, mass shootings oh in the United God. States. Mm -hmm. You know, how do we process that? How do we grieve uh -huh. as a nation? Yeah. So we um, have to make sure we give people the proper tools. You know, I know as um, um, Don was stating about hope, we need hope, but we need to let people know and make sure they understand when they leave us that hope only lessens the grief. Mm, it right. does not take it all away. No, it right. And no, it I think, doesn't. you know, it is normal. You know, I would be feeling some kind of way, you know, if one of my loved ones passed away or, you know, something happened tragic in my family mm -hmm. and there was not a response of a family member that you would expect, you would think there's an imbalance, a pro improper imbalance. Right. So people need to understand that it, it does, we need the hope. We don't grieve like the world, which have no hope, right. but we do grieve. And we need the relationship. That's you know, in God's word, he tells us that we're to carry one another's burdens. Yeah. And this is a time in life when somebody's got a true burden and yeah. we're to come and help lift them up when they're having trouble to stand. Yes. And you know, I think too, churches, sometimes we do a great job of responding right. to the immediate trauma, yes. the immediate loss. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes where we fall down, and I'm saying we, because I'm on a church mm -hmm. staff, is that follow up. Right. You know, yes. when the real yes. grief kicks in and the people are all alone in their home and they're trying to process through. Yes. That's, that's goes where on, it gets we harder. need, yes, and that's where we need to have that relationship. Right. Mm -hmm. I found, you know, when you're talking about those different times of even knowing there's hope. My mom passed away several years ago, and there's days that I still start to cry. I miss oh, her. Yes. It has That's nothing to do with hope. There, I know work. that God, He's right. the God of hope, but I just miss her, yes. and it yes. hurts. But don't yes. without that hope, so I get that totally. I'm not discounting what you're saying, but I'm with you. You know, when you said the saddest thing you've ever seen is someone grieve when they had no hope, no hope I think, yes. gosh, how do these people, I've got a good friend that I'm not sure if she's saved and lost her son, and I'm and I adore this family, and I just pray for them consistently. Um, where's the hope? Their and son was our, saved. Our Thank faith of the power of God helps us to get through anything. And when yeah. we look at it, even if we were to take Kubler Ross's stages and mm -hmm. take them back to Jesus, Amen. when he, when you ask the question, "Do we get angry with God?" Mm -hmm. You know, if you really just examine it from the theological standpoint, when he shouts out from the cross, "My God, My God, right. why hast Thou well, forsaken yeah. me?" That's you know, in a moment there he's really speaking in a way that maybe we wouldn't have thought 
Jesus is talking to God like this, you know, yes. and then in the garden, you know, when he's beginning to pray, you know, he's not accepting that right away. Yeah. He's saying, I would that this cup right. would pass. Right. Right. Any other way, yeah. right. Any other way, yeah. yeah. I don't want to do this. Right. That's <laughs> what I love about our Jesus. Yes. You know, the Bible says that we serve a Savior who has been touched he's with all of our point. infirmities. Yes. You know, right. he, he's been right. there. He's experienced. Right. And you know, I remember hurts. when my dad died a couple of years ago, Number one, you can, I finally realized I can cry 24 hours a day. It's not going to bring him back. Yes. Mm. I can do anything. It's not going to bring him back. There's nothing that's going to bring him back to my right. life right now. It's mm. not going to happen. Yeah. But then as a mom, you've got to start being strong yes. for my two sons because mm -hmm. th that's like their dad too. Right. So you have to be the strong one. You've got to be strong, okay? Yeah. you got to be strong. But then you're strong because you know you've got to be strong. Right. Right. Yeah. But then you, I started seeing it like i got to be strong because I've got to carry on mm -hmm. the yes. values yes. that he was teaching them. Mm -hmm. If I lay down and die too, which right. I could have easily have done, Who's going to carry that on? Yeah. And Jackie, people need encouragement to do that. I know we're, we've got a hotline that they can call yes. for grief, yeah. and they need to reach out. We need to encourage people. If you're yes. sitting at home, and those yeah. of you in the audience, if you're dealing with something, mm -hmm. so reach often out. for my life, yes. I, I stuffed it all down, mm -hmm. and I tried to hold it in because I thought I was supposed to be strong. Mm -hmm. You can't always be that way. Yes. You might need help getting back to it. There's a great yeah. program, too, we ought to tell people about. It's nationwide called Grief Share. I know we offer yeah, that at our church right. and probably at your church. It's just super. So you can go online and look for that and it helps you process mm -hmm. through that, that grieving season. Because you do need to process. I've said this before. There can be no healing where there is no revealing. Yes. And you need to share what it time, is you're feeling You don't think time with alone, time no. alone no. will some bring it. complete healing. Well, some mm -hmm. of it you do need yes. to. And that's mm -hmm. in your war room with God right? and, and, you yeah. know, and processing, journaling. Mm -hmm. Time, but it's so not, not It's not a yeah. time segment that heals you. No. Yeah. It's God it's over it's time God. healed mm -hmm. your hurt. Right. Yeah. That, that, that just saying a time period. Mm, I, I don't believe a time period. Mm. I think one of the most you. important things we can all offer is the listening ear Amen. and the understanding heart. Just yeah. giving people the autonomy to be in a setting yes. to share what's really on their heart mm -hmm. and yeah. allowing them to spill it out and no matter, without yeah. any right. um, remorse or reprisal, letting them say what it is. Yeah. Getting mm -hmm. it out, I think, is the first step and the most powerful. If that's appropriate. Yes. You we know, crying is we... cleansing. Yes. You know, I, I heard this once. Is that we would not need a counseling office in every corner if Christians would just love each other in the way that we were and commanded to love. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.